as you know today, owes its current modern state and advancement in science and technology to the brave men and women whose inventions or creations changed the world. Success did not come cheap either as these inventors in the pursuit of changing the world suffered a number of failures where some ended up paying the ultimate price. My name is Dennis and on today's episode of the Fact Blade, we will be looking at 5 inventors killed by their own inventions. Number 5. Thomas Andrews, the Titanic Thomas Andrews was an Irish businessman, naval architect and shipbuilder who alongside William Peary and Alexander Carlyle designed and built the RMS Titanic. Thomas Andrews suggested the ship have 46 lifeboats instead of the 20 it ended up with as well as watertight bulkheads and a double body frame to protect the ship from collisions but he was ignored. Thomas Andrews and a group of workers boarded a Titanic on its maiden voyage to observe the operations and spot any necessary improvements. On 14th April 1912 at 11.40 pm the Titanic struck an iceberg and then finally sank to the bottom of the sea at 2.20 am. Thomas Andrews was last seen helping people get to lifeboats and whether his body was recovered it was never identified. Number 4. Valerian Abakovsky, the Aero Wagon <laughs> Valerian Abakovsky was an inventor and he also worked as a chauffeur for the Sheka, which was the first of a succession of Soviet secret police organizations in the city of Tambov. Valerian invented the Aero Car or the Aero Wagon which was an experimental high-speed rail car fitted with an airplane engine with propeller propulsion. The aero wagon was intended to transport Soviet officials across the vast lands of Soviet Russia and Siberia. On July 24, 1921, the 25-year-old Abakovsky, accompanied by 22 big shots, tested his invention by making the trip from Tula to Moscow. The aero wagon approached a cape at over 130 km per hour and the craft remembering it used to be an aircraft decided to go airborne but it remembered it no longer had wings so six people were killed including its inventor Valerian Abakovsky. Number 3. Marie Curie Radioactivity Marie Curie was a Polish chemist physicist who discovered radium and polonium and for which she was awarded the Nobel Prizes in Physics and Chemistry. During World War I, Curie recognized that wounded soldiers were best served if operated upon as soon as possible. After a quick study of radiology, anatomy and automated mechanics, she procured x-ray equipment, vehicles, auxiliary generators and developed mobile radiography units, basically mobile x-ray machines which came to be known as Petite Curie due to the nature of her work which involves handling radioactive substances such as radium, polonium and plutonium and her habit of keeping these radioactive substances in test tubes in her pocket. She was exposed to a lot of radioactive elements and she died of leukemia from exposure to excessive radiation. Number 2 Henry Smolinski and Hal Blake, The Flying Car Henry Smolinski and Hal Blake, both of whom held a degree in aeronautical engineering from the Northrop Institute of Technology, caught the idea that a flying car was necessary. So by fusing the rear end of the Cessna Skymaster airplane with a 1971 Ford Pinto, the AVE Mesa was born. The Advanced Vehicle Engineers, or AVE, Prototype the missile which could use both the car engine and the aircraft engine during takeoff and then once in the air switch to the airplane engine. Upon landing, the four-wheel braking system of the car would stop the craft in just 160 meters or less. On September 11, 1973, uh, during a test flight by Smolinski and Blake, the right wing of the Pinto craft folded up mid-flight and gravity knocked down this ingenious creation to a fiery crash. Number 1. Franz Reichelt, the Flying Tailor The Austrian-born French tailor slash inventor Franz Reichelt designed a Vetema parachute, a very peculiar clothes parachute which kinda looks like the modern-day wingsuit. 
after a considerable number of successful tests with various mannequins, he was emboldened to try it out himself. The tailor had told French authorities that he planned to test out the suit at the Eiffel Tower using dummies. The authorities under that assumption decided to give him the go ahead, but upon his arrival at the Eiffel Tower, he announced that he would be making the jump himself. After unsuccessfully stopping Reichshaus from making the jump, his friends and bystanders were forced to watch Monsieur Franz Reichshaus jump from the first platform of the Eiffel Tower and plummet to his death. And that's it for this episode of The Fact Blitz. Five inventors killed by their own inventions or creations. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share, and if you're yet to subscribe, hit the red subscribe button and ring the little bell so that every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. My name is Dennis and thank you for watching this video. Stay safe and God bless. Creating YouTube videos is fun, but the long hours of shooting, editing and reshoots definitely makes me hungry. I usually snack on bread and honey and not just any kind of honey, but the Honey Girl Wildflower Honey. I left a link in the description below so you can grab a jar of this magnificent honey. Thank you Honey Girl for making my video productions much more bearable.